Hello, this is Victor from RestoreMercedes.com and uh, this is a quick video just to, um, well, I don't know, I guess information or whatnot. The camshaft advancer on this car, this is my 500 SL, this is 91 and um, I have no history of the car so I bought it in non-running condition and I always had this issue <clears throat> with low power. Um, if the car would drive and everything would have been okay, but the power was kind of, it was a little sluggish. I did everything to it and um, all the vacuum hoses, uh, oxygen sensor and uh, well, lots of work in other words. Other things, injectors, um, fuel filter, EHA valve over there, um, the accumulator in the back. What else? The uh, duty cycle, the mixture adjustment was done. And um, mm, yeah, this, uh, the airflow mirror adjusted, throttle body fixed, the actuator, the, the potentiometer repaired, computer for the uh, idle control. No, idle control was bad. So basically, everything, whatever I would do to it, still. The issue was there, and um, recently my radiator went, which I had repaired, and then I just figured, let me try something real quick, so, because this car does not have diagnostic, well, limited diagnostic, I figured, let me give some power to camshaft advancers, so I give power to this one, on idle, the engine would stumble, and then you know, and you can actually hear that uh, the valves, a little knocking like when it adjusts like <laughs> like you can hear a little noise so that side was good but on this side nothing happened so there was my problem one camshaft would advance the other one would not advance now somebody like somebody previously opened up this side and from what I realized this the um, this nut right here this big nut somehow was too tight and um, the low advancer would just not come out the solenoid had it was just basically jammed see how it moves freely right now it's nice because I loosened up the nut I actually had to take the whole thing off just to see maybe something was binding but once I loosen everything up I could see that the actual um, the actual shaft in there the adjustment shaft would move freely and then I started to experiment with the nut and once I started to tighten it it was really really tight so when I start tightening it at certain point it would jam and um, the advancer would not come out it would not extend outwards there's a little bit of jamming still but this is the best I can do and I tested with my solenoid to see if at worst position if it will be able to pull it and it does indeed pull it there's a solenoid right here so it just sits like right around here you know when the cover is installed so I tried it in the air and it would pull it now so the advance will work on both sides now um, so while at it I had to clean up a little bit of underneath here um, this was kind of involved because alternator had to come out to get the timing chain tensioner camshaft had to be locked in place so this cover was removed I already put it back up fuel lines come off um, vacuum booster comes off the uh, crankshaft ventilation comes off um, on this side nothing else just the cover because you need to prop the cams so they don't move they don't jump <coughs> timing this one jumped a lot so I had to put it back into the right position and of course this actual the uh, the adjustment mechanism is a pain because there's a piston in the middle that has to be put in first and then it's spring loaded so it keeps coming out when you put the um, cam gear on over that piston and there are teeth in there and then on top of that you have to put the chain on it so everything is sort of not fortunate to work with but it's doable I mean I did it myself there's one person no need for like um, two people <coughs> to do this but this was the story so this thing 
was not working and as you can see I was trying I was trying to actually work it out with pliers when the engine was running by removing the front cover and nothing helped so this is this is what I was doing today and uh, just uh, to show what actually happens here because I didn't see any videos to online to actually show how easy this piece should go in and out now I can see that see there's a little bit of binding I might loosen this up again a little bit slightly tight like just a notch but the solenoid has enough power to pull it that's what I care for because here it's nice and easy but there is a binding here something is something is still touching but whatever this is this is what it is and the car itself I mean I have a video there somewhere for it how it was all messed up now it's a little different now so as you can see I changed the seats I use seats but they look nice and everything is back in, in place um, oh, the door panels and everything to it the wood was bad so I wrapped it with carbon fiber so I don't see no cracks anymore I have to do something with the shifter steering wheel replaced roof roof is pretty decent and um, yeah so that's that's how it um, that's how it looks like now and um, yeah I guess I don't know maybe this video helps somebody all right more videos uh, for Mercedes repairs is on my website or on my channel vs and vs or restoremercedes.com